as we have directly or indirectly destabilized dozens of Muslim countries from Iraq and Iran by invading them and pushing our values down their throats, democracy, which has proven to be a failure in other countries. Uh, no, we don't have an obligation to take them in. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to check out Charlie Cook, Drugs, Libra, Anti-Trump Students. Okay, this is going to be amazing. I call him Charlie Kick, because of kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. Firstly, as a liberal, I would like to say I'm shaking right now, and I'm coming here with respect, because I do not want to end up on a highlight reel. And I also am intimidated, as I think you are very beautiful. It is my belief, correct me if I'm wrong, that you are not completely against immigration as long as the people coming here share the values present in this country. That being said, don't you believe we have a duty to take in Muslim refugees who oftentimes have different values than ours, as we have directly or indirectly destabilized dozens of Muslim countries from Iraq and Iran by invading them and pushing our values down their throats, democracy, which has proven to be a failure in other countries? Uh, no, we don't have an obligation to take them in. True. Thank you. Okay. But, but hold on, I want to just try to drill in on something that, that bothers you and it should, which is our reckless foreign policy agenda. So then would you entertain voting for Trump who started no new wars for four years of his presidency? But he continued like the Afghanistan war. No, he tried to end it. He did everything he could to actually troops were getting out. You know how many troops died under Sorry. Donald Trump's last 18 months? Zero American service members were killed over the last 18 months. And under Joe Biden, the withdrawal was reckless and terrible, and you saw what happened. That's true, but he didn't end the war. He tried to. Well, well fair enough, but the way that Biden ended, I don't think is something we should ever praise, right? It's like saying you got to get an appendix removed, and you take out a pocket knife, and you just start like... I mean, it was one of the most catastrophic humiliating withdrawals and moments in American history. But, so I, I will just, I, I'm, I'm curious though, because with Biden we have new wars everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. We're dropping bombs in Yemen, we're dropping bombs in Syria, you know, we're giving $100 billion just this last time to Ukraine versus Russia, we have Israel Hamas. So does, does the actual concrete data that shows that Trump was a peacemaker and kept stability abroad, is that persuasive to you? With Ukraine, I feel like the Ukraine war is justified. I feel like war is not always justified, and I think you agree with that, because I think you support what Israel is doing in Gaza right now. But I feel like the world is going down, and American influence is leaving, and we have a right, and we must uh, aid Ukraine. Okay, yeah, I mean, I disagree with that. Um, it took a lot of courage for you to get up to this mic. I, I appreciate, appreciate it. it. We have clarity, but not agreement. I hope you vote for Trump. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, number one, America is not obligated to take in Muslim refugees. They are not obligated. It depends if they choose to do it. You understand? Like, you ask another country they are obligated to take um, a set of people, even if it's a Christians, as refugees. Like, they are not obligated to do that. Is if they choose to do that. If they really want to do that or if... They, it's not like a compulsion or something like you guys must take the refugees because they are, they are refugees, they are Muslim refugees or they are Christian refugees. No, they are not obligated to do that. His presidency, Joe Biden during his presidency, there was war every single time. His way of trying to end the war, it's, it's not a perfect approach. According to what um, the example Charlie gave about the soldiery, using a knife to cut off an penis. Like, it's not a perfect way to stop a war. You understand, during Joe Biden era, you notice the war in Ukraine giving 100, $100 billion to Ukraine to fund the war and also to try to resolve it. That is not a perfect way to solve the war. Also, you, see, you observe the um, Israel and um, pa pa Palestine war, the Hamas. You observe that, like, what is really happening is you observe the funding that's going to war and what you are saying, there is no result. And the approach they, they take to, to resolve the war is not the right approach. And what Charlie Chen says is that Biden is not fit for this week and his manner of solving issues is, is, is terrible. It's very, very terrible. And I love how um, Charlie answered this Libra. And I, the Libra is still on to accept the fact that what Charlie is saying is right. So he believes in his own, um, in his own beliefs. Uh, he's an anti-Trump. That's fine, Barros, if you're anti-Trump. But we hope you vote for Trump because if you are to see the light, you'll notice that Trump himself is a very, very good president. He's not the, perfect, he's not the best person, but 
his approach are much preferable and much better. Okay, um, it was nice that they have clarity but not um, agreement. So this system was really beautiful. I love how Charlie answered his, um, this Libra, his questions. And so guys, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up, share this video as many as you can. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, you in my bed. I got scales all over.